Hello there, welcome back to another edition of Pimp My Filter and in this video we're going to be taking a look at a type of filter that isn't really very popular in the UK. This video is about the Hydom BF200 Hang On The Back filter. This is a very small filter for small tanks it does rely on a cartridge system, so is there anything we can do to improve it? Let's have a look. Right, I'll get this thing put together and we'll... Whoa, hello there, what's that? Right, that's not very good. Whatever that is in there is all dropping out. I'm going to have to look at the instructions to find out exactly what is meant to be held inside that cartridge. That doesn't tell me. Ah, damn. Whatever it is, it's not going to stay in there for long. It says it's biological filter media, but to me that looks more like hard carbon or something, like chips of carbon, you know? Um, yeah. Let's just assume that it is carbon in there. So we've got a coarse pad, what looks like the remains of some carbon, and then a fine pad on the front. Right. Now the, the instructions are pretty much non-existent. There's not even a diagram showing how it goes together. So I'm basically gonna copy what is on the box. Right, that's obviously a flow adjuster. Yeah. Okay, I think we've got spare downpipe there if we want to extend the inlet any further. Okay, that bit is obviously the top for the filter. Uh, and that bit. I've got no idea what that is at the moment. Now the instructions basically just consist of safety warnings and that's about it. The other side is in Chinese and all of that, when it's translated, basically says you're on your own. Okay, so that's our completed filter. Water is drawn in through here, which has got a little sponge on the bottom. And it can also be drawn in through here, which is a floating skimmer, so you can suck from the water surface and from further down in the tank. If you don't want this on, simply have straight pipes going all the way down, just take that off. That is an optional extra. A float adjuster here, which will dictate how much the pump sucks and therefore how much it blows out into this other chamber. Basically, our water is spat out down here. It rises up. There's a piece of foam in there. You can just see it. And that acts as a barrier, which means the water comes up and then it drops down through these cartridges and back out to our tank. And that's our cartridge. We've got the coarse pad where the water hits first, the suspected carbon inside there and then the fine pad so the water would actually exit out of that side so water would travel from this side through the pad back out to the tank so there yeah man it's lucky if it's oh, I don't know where well, three centimeters at the bottom perhaps four centimeters at the top these cartridges slot in there and the divider is stuck and offers almost nothing in the way of biological filtration. I've got no doubt it's going to keep the water clear. As far as keeping it healthy, there's nought in there really to keep the water healthy. Okay, so I think the solution to this particular problem may lie with the intake. 
The intake has got the world's smallest piece of foam there. I've seen bigger dental fillings. That is absolutely tiny. If we put a decent sized lump of foam on there, it's a compatible foam for some fluval filter. It may even be a hang on the back one. Could be a fluval flex. I'll put the link to it in the video description. You can buy these very, very cheaply anyway. You get them in you know, packs of one, two, five, ten. I bought dozens of them. That will fit on there. All the way up as well. So you've increased that draw area hugely. And I'm sure in a little tank, that will be enough for your mechanical filtration. Yeah, that stays on there, not too bad. If in doubt, secure it at the top with an elastic band. But that should give you a good, well, not exactly good, but easily as much mechanical filtration as you would find inside the main filter. So that takes care of our mechanical filtration. So that frees up the space above the pump here and also where our cartridges were. Right, we've got some very coarse foam here and all we're going to do with that is just slot it inside of here. Keeping it just below the surface so the water doesn't end up coming over the sides Okay, that gives us more mechanical filtration in here and it should be coarse enough to allow the water clean through to our biological side. Remember, originally all we had was that as the mechanical filtration before the water entered the pump. Now, we have that. That's a hell of a difference. Well, actually, we've got that plus that. I'm not expecting this to catch much muck though. Okay. That's looking good. That's looking mighty good. Why I man, look at that. We've got approximately 250 grams of bio gravel, which is a porous gravel in each one of these bags. So that's roughly 500 grams in this filter. That's about a pound in imperial measurements. And a pound of media in this little filter makes a hell of a difference. And you know what? I think we've got room for a fine pad on top of there as well. The water will actually run underneath the fine pad, but it should catch a lot of muck. little hole. Ah yeah, look at that man. Awesome stuff. Right, so we'll lay that loosely on there. The muck is actually going to collect on the underneath of there because that's just in the water. Right, so let's get this put back together and we'll run through exactly how it's going to work. Okay, so that is our HIDOM BF200 hang on the back filter, pimped up and made to be pretty effective, I think. So this is how it's going to work now. Water comes in through the bottom. That hopefully will catch a lot of muck, although it probably will need taking off every few days and just squeezing out and cleaning. It then travels up into our pump but it also travels through the surface skimmer into our pump it then goes up through some very coarse sponge which shouldn't restrict the flow at all it then comes over here and to be fair the majority of the water will just go straight down here and back to our tank but some of it will swill around and around and around through the bags of media and that media will support a ridiculous amount of good bacteria 
then the water will rise up hit the underneath of this fine pad which should skim off the very fine muck that has managed to find its way this far into the filter and then it'll drop back to our tank and that's a hell of a lot different to how it actually came set up from the manufacturer it's got a vast amount of biological media in there as far as the available space goes and that'll drastically improve the quality of the water when it drops back into the tank so I'm quite pleased with that now this setup isn't restricted to the high dorm filter you could use this in pretty much any hang on the back filter because they all work in a similar way water gets sucked in into the pump and then it tends to go through a series of cartridges which really have close to bugger all in them and are just a total waste of time and money long term you don't need those if you set it up in a similar way to that but if you've got a different way of setting up your hang on the back filter that works for you please let me know in the comment section below that's what that comment section's there for it's for people who've set up similar filters use them long term put your report of how it's working down there other people will benefit from that so a big thanks to robert who sent me this up to take a look at he never actually had this installed on his tank this got sent straight to me from the manufacturer when he bought it so thanks again robert hopefully these changes will be good for you and because there's about 500 grams of media in there this should have no problem whatsoever achieving a full cycle and that is zero ammonia zero nitrite and very low nitrates for a tank of maybe 50 to 60 liters and in imperial measurements for you guys in the US that is 13 to 15 US gallons I think for a full cycle remember in this series we're not interested in just doing half a job any filter will do half a job and quite easily keep zero ammonia zero nitrite we want the nitrate to be affected as well and that's why we use porous good media to support aerobic and the anaerobic bacteria which will in turn eat the nitrate well process the nitrate and just in case anybody's wanting to ask whether the bio gravel can be used as a bio sensors or an anoxic sort of filter yes it can it does have huge benefits over stuff that's normally used for those where you would get a container packet full of gravel type stuff and have the water slowly moving through it to create anaerobic conditions because with the bio gravel not only do you get the anaerobic conditions building up between the pieces of media but you also get them building up inside the media as well with it being so porous so you get a double effect you know i mean i'm saying it'll provide full cycle filtration for 50 liters it may well be more than that because of that boosting effect you know there we have it this is going back to robert and if you've got a filter that you'd like me to take a look at by all means get in touch my contact details are in the video description and also in the pinned comment i've put my email address and also my phone number on there phone is the best one because i've always got my phone with me i get dozens and dozens of emails every day and i sometimes can't get to them all if you want a quick answer or you want to talk something through just phone me it's not a problem okay so Hydum BF 200 as it was as it is boing now the manufacturer recommends this filter for around about 80 liters which is asking far too much far too much of it 50 to 60 liters yes 80 liters yeah maybe if it's extremely lightly stocked but for a normally stocked tank 50 to 60 liters and the pump pumps 500 liters an hour which is about 110 gallons an hour or thereabouts and also the full name of it is hanging waterfall bf 200 now i missed that full title out earlier on in the video and to be honest hanging waterfall kind of sounds like a location you might find on game of thrones or something where are you off to we're off to the hanging waterfall 
That's gonna end well, isn't it? You know. Okay, I'm gonna let you in on a little trade secret now. I actually shot about 10 to 15 minutes of extra footage where I was literally scratching my head. If I had any hair to pull out, I would have pulled it out until I saw that. Because I really didn't have a clue what to do with this particular thing, believe it or not, because of the ridiculous lack of space and the reliance of these cartridges. I was stumped, my brain just went to sleep. But hopefully you'll be able to see that by working things out and just thinking of simple little fixes, it's resulted in something that's actually going to be useful.